Financial success is not about hard numbers. It's more like a soft skill where your emotions, behaviors, and mindset is more important than what you know intellectually. In this video, I want to share with you the soft skill called the psychology of money. And that's based on the book by Morgan Housel. I'm going to share with you five money soft skills that are really going to support you in your financial journey. My name is Yvonne and this channel is about personal development. So if you want to increase the quality of your life, subscribe to this channel and level up. The first money soft skill we'll talk about is understanding that getting money and keeping money requires two different skill sets. Getting money requires uh, us to take risks, to be creative, to be optimistic, to have that can-do attitude. But keeping money is actually the opposite of taking risks. You want to be more careful and calculated with your money. You want to be more conservative. In fact, it requires the mindset of uh, planning for unforeseen circumstances to, to occur. In fact, you want to have that mindset where you plan on your plan, not going according to plan. And those that have approached money in this way get to keep their money and uh, really experience true wealth. Now, this type of uh, dichotomy is pretty interesting and you see this uh, in many areas in life, particularly for those that uh, are starting a business. You see, most businesses fail and the reason why they fail is because most people are not aware of this soft skill. That whatever got them to start the business is not what's going to get them to keep the business. When you start a business, you really need to be able to work well with chaos, wear different hats, be creative, and uh, really think outside of the box. But keeping the money requires you to set up systems, to be very organized, have a bottom line approach seek the financial literacy in the areas that you're weak in so that you set yourself up for success. The second money soft skill is viewing the volatility of your investment as a fee, just a part of the total cost. And when we develop the mindset of really uh, seeing this market volatility as part of a fee, part of the price you have to pay, that's what's going to help you stick around long enough so that you can uh, see how those investments over time work in your favor. You see, everything has a price. Everything has a cost. Every product and service demands a price. And you have to ask yourself, am I willing to pay that price? So for example, if you go to the store and buy yourself a pair of shoes, there's a price tag. It's pretty clear. And that price tag includes everything it took to make that pair of shoes and get it in your hands. That includes the raw materials, the shipping, the lights to keep that brick and mortar store on, even the cost for the uh, customer service rep that came to help you. Maybe even, yeah, including the bag that the shoes are in. <laughs> so the same thing too with investing. You see, investing is more than just the price you paid initially for that stock. It's inclusive of everything. In fact, uh, the capital gains tax, you understand that you're going to pay that uh, against the market returns, but, the, but another cost that you also have to factor in is that emotional cost, the doubt, the uncertainty, that fear, that is an emotional cost that you've got to factor in and accept and pay the price of that investment. And that's really going to support you. You see, most people don't see the emotional roller coaster as a fee, as part of the total cost. They see it as a, a fine, a penalty. And because they see it that way, it really hurts. And uh, they're not willing to pay the price. And so they leave, they jump ship, they get out of the market. It gets uncomfortable. Okay, and so I want you to uh, start looking at it this way because that's what's going to support you to take, uh, to make the decisions that, um, that are going to serve you best. And many times that decision may be to um, hold on and see it through. And those that have been able to do so, uh, to have that emotional resilience 
and uh, having that willingness to pay the price, the total cost, they're the ones that ultimately, in the long run, succeed. The third money soft skill is understanding that wealth is what you don't see. You know, it's been so ingrained in us that to have wealth is to spend money that we really don't see the restraint and the emotional discipline it takes to truly build wealth. You see, wealth is what you don't see. Wealth is your financial assets, your savings, your retirement accounts, your investment portfolios. Wealth is income that's not spent. It's the savings and investing. And so whatever is in the bank, that's wealth. When you convert wealth into a thing, into maybe a bag, shoes, a car, a home, now you're showcasing uh, what is called being rich. And um, many times we see that just because people showcase their income, uh, that their ability to make monthly payments on a car or a home or to be able to purchase a bag, that shows that, hey, you've got a, a, a good income. But that doesn't necessarily translate to wealth because wealth is what you have in the bank. And so uh, it's better to have a Mercedes in the bank than in the garage. And that's a good way of saying things because that's really going to help you uh, to really understand the difference between being wealthy and being rich. So the percentage that you actually save every month and put into the, your savings, that's called building wealth. So wealth is created by suppressing what you could buy today to having better options and more options for yourself in the future. The fourth money soft skill is understanding that your savings rate is more important than income. You know, there's three types of people, those who save, those who don't think they can save, and those who don't think they need to save. You know, saving is very important. And just because you make more money doesn't mean that you're saving more. In fact, um, in order to save more, it doesn't mean more income. It means more humility because that's really what it's going to take for us to be able to live below our means and um, to reduce the expenses to the point where it allows us to have more wiggle room to be able to save more. And so uh, ultimately, that's what we want to do is we want to reduce our expenses anywhere where there's lifestyle bloat, really seek to um, change that for yourself so that you can increase your savings rate. So when you live below your means, you're able to increase your savings and ultimately build real wealth. So stay focused on what your goal is and that's building wealth here. The fifth money soft skill is viewing wealth as freedom of time. You know, you can always get more money, but you can never get your time back. The highest form of wealth, I think, is being able to wake up in the morning and say, you know, I can do whatever I want to do today. And uh, not exchanging your time for money, not having to. You see, the highest dividend that money can pay, and truly, money's intrinsic value, is the ability to uh, give you control over your own time and that's really what wealth is about and that is the uh, highest currency uh, in the world is your time so just some final thoughts you know it's really important to have a, a good perspective on what wealth really means and at the end of the day wealth is being able to do the right thing because doing the right thing is what's going to bring us true wealth at the end of the day. And you know, it's a spiritual principle that says uh, those that trust in riches will fall, but the righteous one will flourish. And that's really uh, what wealth is about, is being able to flourish in all areas of our life. In conclusion, your emotions, behavior, and mindset around money, the soft skills called the psychology of money is really gonna determine your financial success. The five money soft skills include really understanding that making money and keeping money require two different skill sets, viewing the volatility of your investment as a fee, just part of the total cost, understanding that wealth is what you don't see, 
that your savings rate is more important than income and viewing wealth as freedom of time. I've created the Money Mastery Program that's really designed for women professionals and entrepreneurs that are really seeking to improve their financial picture, whether it's saving more, getting out of debt, or investing to build real wealth. You're going to have the peace of mind that comes when you have a clear financial action plan to be able to get real wealth and really think about how much it's costing you to feel stuck in your life. So for those that are ready to invest in themselves, click on the link in the description box below to enroll. Also, I'm excited to announce that I just launched my merch boutique shop for inspirational and motivational gifts for yourself, family, and friends. Click on the link in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video and want to improve the quality of your life, click on the subscribe button to level up and I'll see you on the next one.